Hi, this is Kevin with KDM Jam, owner of Pro Advertisers Club, a totally free site to advertise. Go to ProAdvertisersClub.com, join for free today, and start advertising for free. Okay, here we are on the 27th of February, I believe, already. And let's go, right now we're on the SPS page, and SPS has come down a little bit. It was up to uh, 2.8, I believe, last night. Um, so let's go look at the guild real quick and see how things are going over there. If you have not joined a guild yet, uh, please consider joining mine. I'd love to have you. I'm not asking anybody to donate anything. If you want to, that's great. But if not, you know, that's fine. I I'm willing to build it myself. Um, we got room for four more members right now. And uh, we just come here, battle, collect your rewards, and use it to build equity in the game is pretty much all I ask. And have fun. If you're not in a guild, you need to get in one or start your own because you're really missing out. So here we are. We got 7 of 13 filled on the phrase. We got another 15 hours, so the battles start. So uh, there's still a lot left here to fill up, guys. So come fill it up. Um, Claude's join us. He's from Splinter Zone. Go like and subscribe, please, and support his channel. He donated uh, 19,000 guild power. So the shape we're in right now in the buildings is we have this uh, arena done and just waiting for the 40 crowns. We've got 28, and that will bring that up to level 2. And then I believe we got to work on the Barracks? No, the barracks are already leveled. So yeah, the arena is the only one that's not up to level two. So we started working on the store, which we're almost done, and then we'll start collecting uh, crowns to upgrade that once I get this to thirty thousand, which will probably be in the next week. So we got time. We're in really good shape. Um, you def once this gets promoted, we're going to get the merit bonus, which is huge which I think it's at right now, plus 20%. But we'll get, once we go up to third level, it's really going to take off. Um, let's go look at a couple comments. Um, gathering the Magic Ass, how many Nightmare Packs do you have? By the way, I have 54. And you get SPS form by holding on to them. So I might get another one today or tonight because I've already DCA'd in. And um, congrats, Gathering Magic also congrats on the 600 subscribers. Well deserved. Yeah, that, um, thank you. That new, uh, the giveaway with the rage cards really added a lot of subscribers. So I'm really starting to think about doing giveaways more often type of thing. It is kind of overwhelming and you get all these emails and people wanting to join. And so I got to get more organized, but uh, thank you. And it's all because of you guys. Appreciate it. Um, Trash Panda sent 81 DC wants to do a, a, a test uh, I'm going to get 100 legendary and alchemy potions and then I'm going to open the packs using those and um, we're, then we're going to open them without and just see what the difference is if, the, if there really is a difference um, I don't like to buy potions I'd rather use the money to buy cards but um, they are beneficial. They do give you a better percentage to win. So I, I that's going to be awesome. Let's we'll do that here in a second, and go get it. Um, go get the potions and stuff. So there's the comments for the day. Let me archive them, and that way I can come here and it, I can answer everybody's who leaves a comment. Uh, it's more organized than what it used to be. Here's my three accounts. My gold account, which is golden cards, regular foil cards, and then this is my buy, sell, and um, rent account. Uh, this third one here. Okay, so let's get rid of this and get rid of that. So let's go and check out here. This is the buzz list. These are all people that I know that make videos on YouTube and one on Twitch, Bugs, Bags, and Caps. Um, go like and subscribe all of them and leave a comment on them and support them as much as you can. I know it's it's hard. I mean, there's you know only so much time, but the more we support all these people, the more we push out the algorithm on uh, 
YouTube, and if it catches it, YouTube will do most of the work for us. If you get enough buzz going, it will push it out and grab it, and the next thing you know, it will start wanting to put it in front of people's face who might not ever watch any of these videos, and that's what you want. Here's all of their, uh, thanks to Bronze Dragon, he made up this list with all the um, links. Now, on the links, when you go to it, take away the, in fact, I'm just going to start removing these because I think that's, if you put it in with the at symbol, it won't go. So just go to these links for each one. Um, NFO Guides up here on the top, he has a website called uh, Baron's Toolbox. Go check it out. He put a lot of work into it. We've been using it for the spinners, for the uh, to decide who win the, you know, the giveaways. And um, he just put out a video yesterday. Now, NFO guides, if you hear this, I, I, you, your comments are disabled, so I couldn't tell you. Nobody else could. Your sound was kind of overrided by the music. The music was louder than you talking. But it was still a great video. He just He just talks about how to play the game. And anybody who's on the fence of making videos, that's all you have to do. You, some guys will make, you know, like After Sound, Game and Bronze Dragon, Gather Magic, all these guys, they make deep, you know, uh, data-driven videos. If you just made a video, just tell people what you do on the game and put it out there. It's, you know, don't have to be nothing spectacular. That will put more in front of more people's eyes. Get more people to join, etc. And if you if you don't want to make videos, then support everybody by liking, subscribing, and commenting. That that's the whole ideal behind this push uh, for this stuff. Um, if you see anybody not on this list, send it to me. I'll put it on there and subscribe myself to them. I try to watch everybody's videos. After Sound makes a lot of videos, so it's hard sometimes to keep up. But most everybody I've I've watched everything they've put out. And, and I try to leave a comment. And, and sometimes you're just going to forget. Um, on the Splinterlands drawing, I had I had two winners, okay? I had Mary Vanilla. I sent her hers, but Martino Martelli, who subscribed to me during the drawing time, has not contacted me. If I don't hear from you by Friday, I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it away to somebody else. Um, I don't know if you subscribed and didn't know about the drawing. Maybe you just saw the video and decided to watch it or what I, I don't know. But I have not heard from you. Uh, the best way to contact me is in Kevin557808 at gmail.com or leave a comment below my latest video because I'll get that, what I just showed you, in my email. Okay. Um, now let's go look at the numbers. And I'm in really good shape for this is my third year in the game. And this is the value of my gold card set value of my regular foil rental set uh, five properties at 100 bucks a piece SPS stack so my total value is 4102 I put in ten dollars a day DCAing if I do more I'll put it out here and add it in and uh, I did this through PayPal and it was uh, they loaned me 150 bucks and I pay it back in four easy payments of like 35 bucks and, you know, I go out and DoorDash and stuff, so I'll go out and work extra to pay that off type thing. Um, but the $10 DCA here, so I've got a total of 30 30 invested in the game. So I walk away today if I sold everything with a 1072 profit. And that's not bad for being in a three-year bear market because I got in right at the beginning of the bear market. Now, I'm a Chaos Legion guy or person or whatever you want to call it. Um, all right, so got you all caught up on that. Let's go claim the land real quick. I'm pretty much doing this twice a day now, once in the evening, once in the morning. And let's go to production. Here's the map. And I've got one here, one, one or no, two or three here and one here. So those are the three parts of the continent that I'm on. And... The first one, all it does is make grain. Grain is a gatekeeper. You got to have it. You either got to produce it or buy it. You can't do land without it. So I lucked out. I didn't plan it that way. I ended up with two properties that can produce grain. Oh, actually, I could produce grain with all of them, but once 2.0 comes in, I only have two, which 
what I'm finding here, the two that I got, takes care of all my property. So this one I just stack grain. So I'm at 190,000 grain. That's all I got to do with this one. And remember, land's only 1% open. So that's pretty much all you can do right now is claim and build it. Now this one takes care of all my properties. So what I'll do is harvest. It takes care of itself and the other three. And then I'll transfer the remaining balance to the whichever one needs it the most on the other three properties. And I still have not gotten a totem piece. <laughs> it's not. So I got, let me see, 3,900 to transfer. So let's, oh, that's buy grain. I don't want to buy it. It's very expensive. Nine, two, two. Continue. So obviously this one has two properties on it. So we got 14,000. So I'm going to use it on that one. And there we go. I am now got everything covered for grain. Now I've got three properties left. One does research and the other do, do SPS. So let's go claim them. Land is probably what I'm most excited about this game. I, I love that type of... Uh, th this is a... a game that's within a game within a game you got you know the card game of course is the main but there's so much more you can do on this platform and i'm actually showing you exactly what to do but um yeah it's land is probably what i'm really looking forward to once it starts really get going because only one percent of it's out once 2.0 comes out um then things will really take off and i'll lose the sps as far as being able to mine it they're going to remove that as of right now, unless that changes. All right, so let's claim the last of that. And last chance for a totem piece until tonight. And nothing. Okay, so now we're going to go to the battle page, see if I got a battle I can do. I'm on the Splinter Mate bot system, and... Uh, I can play as much or as little as I want. It take it, yes, he had already played that one that was available, and um, it's a dollar a month. So go check it out. Join. There's no affiliate program, so I don't get nothing out of it. But uh, if the the nice thing about the bot is when I can't play, I can keep it running, and when I want to play, I just adjust the um, amount of times that it plays a day, and it will leave me as many battles as one. I can even pause it and play all the battles type thing so it's really if you're strapped for time it's bots are incredible now you can only use bots in wild you can't use it in modern okay so let's go see what i got last night and here we go there's mostly sps last night and then some three legendary potions okay so let's go back And let's see, now I want to go to, um, I don't know what happened there. Let's click that again. There we go. Okay, now I've already DCA'd. And did that sell? Yeah, no, I got one of these for sell. It did not sell yet. That, that was sent over by, uh, okay. Let's go to, um, okay, I am in items. So what I'm doing right now with the DCA is I'm maxing out my summoners. And as you see, I've got her maxed out. I've got Kela or yeah, Kela Kelia. Friend duel, he's maxed out. Obsidian's maxed out, and Thaddeus Brood's maxed out. Now, so I've got one left to do. Then I'll have one in every splinter except the dragon, and I'll work on that later. 
So I'm slowly but surely, this will put me at 16, so I'll need four, I need six more after this. And then, and the reason is because with the new game system, you're going to want to max out your cards. And by already having a maxed out gold, I can go all the way to the top. There's, you know, where if you wait, it might be harder to put together a full set. I, I, that's just me. And that might not be the case, but I'm thinking right now, and I'll show you why. Like these are at three, so I'll probably buy another one or two in the next DCA. So I need six more to finish them off. Uh, then the other thing I do is I'm also building up the deck itself. So let's go and look which ones I bought. And here they are right here. So it takes, for a common card, it takes 35 or 38. So let's see how many. This is going to put me up to level 8. So I got 24, so you're talking another 14 to max this one out. And then I'm going to show you how I'm doing that in a second. Then the other thing with the DCA is I buy packs of Chaos Legion right now. But I also buy at least one or two alpha cards. And I just get the cheapest one. And to put this in perspective, there's 4,000 4,300 packs left, which means there might be a total of 7,000, you know, that could be in circulation after this. And I always burn them, and I want to max them out because you can use alpha in wild. And they're just, as a collectible, alpha card's the way to go. I mean, it is going to be the rarest cards uh, overall, there might be one or two that are rare, you know, in certain circumstances, but uh, you want to get alpha cards. But anyway, so here's how I do it I go to the shop, and then you know how I do the summoners. I'm trying to max that out, but like, let's say for the go cards, I just put it on the cheapest one, okay? And that, like, this I've already got maxed out, I've already got this maxed out, so. And these actually went up since yesterday. They were down in the 27s, 28s. But let's see if I got him maxed out. And I don't. In fact, I got to get 37 more. So as the time goes on, I'll work my way up. But what it's doing, it's allowing me every day to get the cheapest gold card that I need. And I'm not. it's not that I'm chasing a specific card that I gotta have. Yeah, these aren't the best cards maybe, but I don't care. I just wanna max out everything. Very simple strategy. And I wanna pay as little as possible for them. Now, this one might be down here tomorrow. This one here might be down here. Now I got him maxed out, so it don't matter. But my point is, I look at how far up this one went. So I'll work on this one tomorrow, and et cetera. And, and so you're always getting the, you know, this one way here, could end up here tomorrow. You just never know. So, and then I'll just work my way up. Um, same thing with the alpha. Now, alpha, I'm not getting gold, of course, very expensive, but I just get the cheapest one. Now, now look at this. I was getting these at 35 cents the other day. Now the cheapest one is 51, and so I'm just going to keep doing that. And the same thing. These will start coming down, and I'll be getting different ones every day. All right, now let's go open. I got to go purchase the potions like I promised him I would. Uh, so, and he's been sending me a pack every day to open Rebellion. It's been tremendously helpful. Thank him very much. And so we're going to uh, buy the potions. So he said 100. Is that 50 of each? Okay, let's start with the legendary. Let's just put that in. So if I do 50, no, that'd be 100 of each because that's only, yeah, that's half of that. Okay, so pay with DEC, confirm, 
Now it takes one potion per card. So for each pack, it's five potions. And then it's, you know, one of each potion. So you're talking 10 potions per pack. Five for legendary, five for alchemy. All right, so let's go back. And there we got 103. So let's buy this. And let's put in 100 there. And it's not quite, but we'll go down till 42. And there we go. Okay, so 85. So I'll probably pick up another 15 when I get a chance so we can finish out this experiment. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to keep track. I'm going to open this up and we're going to start a new page. Okay, potion stats. Okay, so one rebellion pack. And let's see what happens. So that's going to be five slash five of potions. And let's see what I get. All right, so let's go back to the mana well. And I'm just going to put it in. So it's going to take up five from here and five from there. Now, it gives you a better percentage for gold and legendary. So let's see how this works on this first pack. Okay, there's you're guaranteed one rare, and I got it. So it did not help with the legendary. Now, it doesn't guarantee you one. It just gives you a better chance. But let's see if any of these are gold. Okay. No. So I'm going to put zero for this. So no gold or no um, legendary. Okay. There we go. So there's the start of it, and we'll keep doing that. So now what I do is I go over to here, and what I would do is remove all the cards off the wagons. Okay? And then I combine the new cards, and then I come back and put autofill. I'll do that later. But that, that's a very easy way to do it. And you're thinking, well, you're going to miss out on points while you're doing that. Yeah, but the few points you're going to lose out on, you gain back by adding the cards. Because they, remember, this is per hour. It's like right now I'm getting 66.10 per hour of points for my chances. So I'm, I'm going to end up with about 40 chances maybe. All right, so let's go and log out. And we're going to go... I, I've been getting... Um, with the remaining balance of my DCA, Chaos Legion packs. Sometimes it's one pack, sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less. And what I'm doing is I transfer them over to this account because this is my regular foil. Because I was opening up in my gold foil and then transferring everything over. And it's a, it's a mess, especially if it's a lot of packs I open. So this is a lot easier. That way if I get a gold card, I'll just transfer it back over. So let's go to the... Mana well. And I think I got three potions last night, if I remember right. Or no. That was oh that was on the other account. Okay, so I've got the five and we're gonna mass open them. And yes, I don't have any potions. Uh so the big argument is yet, you know, don't ever open a pack without a potion. I disagree, because I've gotten very good stuff without the potions. They do help, yes. I just, again, that was $8 worth of DC. You can go buy a maxed out legendary in some cases. That's the way I look at it. Um, okay, there's a rare. I'm guaranteed five rare. There's one, two, three, four. And there's a legendary, guys. 
five. So I got my five rares and a legendary. So this is already a exceptional pack. Now any of these can be gold. But there's the perfect example where you don't have, whoops, that's a rare. You don't have to have uh, the potions. Do I believe in them? Yes. But I keep saying over and over again, I just don't want to, it's just me. I just don't want to spend that. Okay. Let's do the rare. I'm looking for summoners now because I need to max out the summoners on my regular foil. See what I mean about transferring all these? Okay, let's go. Gold foil or gold legendary. Not a gold, but a legendary. Okay, fantastic. And that's another zero mana. Okay, so um, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I know your time's valuable. Go check out Pro Advertisers Club if you get a chance. Um, if you haven't joined Splinterlands yet, please do so. It's $10 for the spell book. You get open to the entire platform. And if you haven't joined a guild yet, go do so. Whether it's mine, anybody else's, or start your own, you need to be in a guild. So thank you and have a nice day.